All right, so yesterday we talked about introductory paragraphs. Today we're going to finish up our essay um, by talking about conclusion paragraphs. Conclusion paragraphs are a paragraph that come at the very end of your essay, and they're going to do certain things. Informational essays, reports, and research papers all end, a conclusion, end in a conclusion paragraph. So here writers remind readers what they've learned by summing up the topic and main ideas. So I want to just point out, remember in our introductory paragraph, that's where we have that, con that hook and our controlling idea. The controlling idea introduces and previews all of the main ideas. Then the second paragraph talks about the first main idea in supporting details. The third paragraph talks about the second main idea and the supporting details. The fourth paragraph talks about the third main idea and supporting details. And then that fifth paragraph is our conclusion. Conclusions are important because they help the, remember, the reader remember the most important parts of the text, which are those main ideas. So what do you think of this conclusion? So now you've learned about the culture of indigenous Arctic people, including their foods, shelters, clothing, and belief systems. It's pretty boring. It's pretty basic. An effective conclusion paragraph needs to sum up the topic and main ideas in an interesting way. Note that word interesting. So here's our summary framework. Our topic was indigenous Arctic people. Our first main idea was food. Second one was shelter, clothing, and belief system. And so that last conclusion paragraph kind of just restated all of these in a very bland and basic drab way. We want to be a little bit more interesting. We want to take it from drab to fab. So here are some techniques that you can do in order to make your conclusion paragraph better. You'd probably be doing yourself a big favor by actually writing these down in your notes. The first thing you can do is you can restate each main idea as a question. Remember in our hooks, questions were a way to hook the reader. This is also a way to um, bring the essay to a close and remind the reader of what you just talked about. You could also create a hypothetical anecdote. Remember, an anecdote is a personal example or a short story. You can use a word referent, meaning another word that means the same or similar to the word you just used. You can use informative verbs, verbs that um, remind us or do things like illustrate, determine, demonstrate. You can insert a definitive word or phrase. Or you can restate the general topic sentence, that controlling idea. You can just say it again, maybe with some different words or a different order. So let's identify the main idea in each question. How would you like to try a taste of caribou jerky? Well, what's the main idea here? Well, I know that jerky is a food. That's an example of the food main idea right here. Could you make yourself comfortable in a cozy igloo during a blizzard? I know that an igloo is a house made out of ice um, that happens like, I mean, it's a house. That's a shelter. Can you imagine how warm a jacket lined with polar bear fur would be? Well, a jacket is a type of clothing. Doesn't it make sense that the Inuit had loving spiritual bonds with animals? I know that a spiritual bond is a belief. So... All this author did was they created a question for each of the main idea, the main ideas, and they used a word reference. They used a word like jerky instead of saying food, an igloo instead of saying shelter, a jacket instead of saying clothing, a spiritual bond instead of saying belief system. Notice the use of the word the word reference in this example. Remember, a word reference is a word or a phrase that replaces a keyword, similar or even the same. The inventive people of the far north. Mm, isn't that just the indigenous Arctic, Arctic people? Showed their ingenuity as they found food, main idea one. Fashioned warm clothing, main idea two. Uh, built snug shelters, uh, main idea the third main idea, um, and develops unique belief systems, the last main idea. Using these few natural resources available to them, these hardy survivors, that's a word reference for those Arctic people again, 
were able to thrive for centuries in a harsh, unforgiving environment. That word referent is talking about where they lived, the indigenous Arctic. A definitive word or phrase adds an air of authority. You, an air of authority is like, you sound like an expert. So here are some words that you can use that will help you to sound more authoritative, more like an expert as you close your paper. Because you want to leave your reader feeling like they didn't waste their time just listening to someone who doesn't know what they're talking about. So you can use these words like certainly, absolutely, positively, clearly, surely, without a doubt to introduce your conclusion. And it kind of gives a little subtle hint that, listen to me, I know what I'm talking about. Without a doubt, the indigenous people of the Arctic were able to carve out a comfortable and enduring way of life in the iciest reaches of the planet. Their foods, main idea, clothing, main idea, shelter, main idea, and belief systems, main idea, certainly reflect their ingenuity. So notice how they used words like without a doubt and certainly those definitive words or phrases they make you they make the reader feel more comfortable that they should believe what you've said. A hypothetical anecdote is a situation that puts the reader in contact with the topic. If you ever have the opportunity to visit the Arctic, remember the ingenuity of the native people of this icy realm. Without a doubt, there's that definitive word phrase, the animals and indigenous people of the North Country deserve our utmost respect. If you ever have the opportunity to visit the Arctic, now we've created a hypothetical anecdote, like our reader might be considering going there and maybe explaining everything about this area and its people will help them want to go. Informative verbs replace passive or helping verbs to restate each main idea. So words like uncover, recognize, understand, learn about, consider, determine, those words take the place of kind of boring, overlooked words like is, am, are, was, or were. So learning about how the indigenous people of the Arctic adapted to life in the harshest of environments on Earth is not only fascinating, but inspiring. Without a doubt, it's valuable to remember that the ingenuity of the robust natives of the North who created their own unique food, clothing, shelters, and belief systems. There's the mention of those main ideas from the whole paper. You can also just restate the general topic sentence. Are you in awe of the indigenous people of the Arctic? How of how the um, are you in awe of how the indigenous people of the Arctic adapted to their harsh, icy environment? If so, you're not alone. Certainly, many of us admire these robust natives of the North. Their ingenuity and respect for nature is reflected in their foods, clothing, shelters, and belief systems. The Inuit people were certainly successful at adapting to their challenging environment. There's that, that general topic sentence, that, that, the controlling idea. The one thing that we're trying to get across is that these people were really amazing uh, because they took this place where no one would want to live and they made it a successful place to live. What other techniques can you find in here? Well, they've used a question to introduce that conclusion. They have mentioned those main ideas, food, clothing, shelter, and belief systems. Um, reflected is an informative verb. Certainly is one of those definitive words that increase our authority level. All of these techniques will help your reader, it will help you close your essay, but it will also help your reader feel like they have taken and used good time to listen to your information and because you're an expert and because you considered them you will they will um, feel like they didn't waste their time reading your piece so as we close remember conclusion paragraphs need to creatively restate creatively is the key word here the topic and main ideas so if our topic was our indigenous Arctic people, we're going to make sure to mention that and these main ideas in our conclusion paragraph. So we're going to introduce by mentioning these things. 
We're going to mention each of those main ideas separately in their own paragraph. We're going to re-mention all of those things one more time in the conclusion. I always think of it like you're previewing what the main ideas are, you're viewing what the main ideas are, and you're reminding, you're reviewing what the main ideas were. All right, if you have any other questions, make sure to let your teacher know, and uh, happy writing.